What's up, everyone? It's your boy, Chris Purpose, back at it again with another Gems of War Explore 12 team. Okay, so in this one, I'm going to be going back over this troop that was recently added into the game, the legendary troop of Carmina. Now, um, my last video, I didn't feel as comfortable with the team, nor did I think that it was smooth enough for an Explore 12 team, especially one that's using Slayer and... Um, and it's not going as fast and as smooth as I prefer. So I went back over it and I find a very, um, I found rather a very interesting setup. And I'm going to share it with you guys. So up front, I have this very unique weapon here, which is the Vine Whip. The Vine Whip is an ultra rare weapon from the uh, Forest of Thorn Kingdom. Now for the upgrades for this weapon, it has tangling in the upgrades. And along with that, it has tangling in the spell. Now, interestingly, if you target down the second enemy with this, it will tangle, entangle the second enemy that you target, and as well, it will entangle the first enemy because it has tangling in its spell, entangle the first enemy. So it can be very useful with uh, Carmina. Reason being, uh, Carmina's spell doesn't always ensure that you're going to get a 4 plus gem match. Sometimes you will, sometimes you won't. So as a result, even if you kill off the first enemy, the second enemy might use those skulls and might somehow get a 4 plus gem match and, you know, rail on you and there goes your entire team. So, so as to protect it, I'm going to be using the Vine Whip up front. And Thrall, of course, I have on my team because I'm using Onerous at the bottom. So as soon as I'm able to get, um, and once again, I said Onerous. The name of the troop is Flaming Oni. <laughs> Flaming Oni is the troop I have at the bottom. Flaming Oni has for a spell, uh, Red Rage, convert two red gems to burning gems when uh, my turn begins. And we all know what red, those um, burning gems are. Uh, gems that when red gems that when you explode them or destroy or match them they will burn the entire enemy team which is going to make our slayer up front do a lot of damage with those with those skulls uh from carmina so yeah let's hop right in it's my usual setup of slayer of course um slayer with ferocity chill of death uh fire starter vengeance and bloodthirsty along with fire blade dealing triple skull damage to um burning enemies so yeah let's hop right in and see if we can make um very quick one of this team. All right, so as usual, our first response is to find some mana for a thrall. And let's take these four plus gem matches off the board. Of course, we don't want them to take those. Now let's cast thrall. All enemy team is burning. And uh, let's take this skull match right here. Why not? Of course, we got an easy one right there with a quick kill. Now let's use the weapon as intended. So I'm going to target the third enemy right there. And as you can see, it, 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 um, it entangled the first two that was left on the enemy team. Now let's cast our Carmina, and as you can see, we got a quick hit. Now let's match this down, get my Carmina back up. If I want to, I can actually target the bottom enemy right there. Both of them are entangled, and now let's see if I can kill them off real quick. There you go. Yeah, so I found out this is much more controlled, much safer uh, to use as opposed to using any single weapon that has a, you know, entanglement only on the first enemy. Sometimes that second uh, skull it is where you get punched and you know your entire enemy team is sculled into dust all right so first off uh, let's cast our thrall first get them burning and now let's target the second enemy both enemies are entangled now cast our our carmina we got a big hit he's going to be hitting us behind that entanglement but at least we have them uh frozen all right we got another skull hit here let's take that one and can we get another one no we can't let's cast our thrall Got an extra turn, and Cascading Skulls does the damage. Let's move on into battle number three. So yeah, I was just searching for an interesting way of getting, you know, the first two enemies entangled and came across this weapon. I forgot about it for a while. I used it back earlier when I was playing the game, but I forgot about it now, and might as well use it in this team. So we got an uh, easy skull hit right there. We're going to take it, kill the first enemy. Now let's use that weapon to cast on the... Second enemy that's left, now cast our Carmina. Got a big skull hit. One more. Thrall once again, we're going to get an extra turn. And we have skulls already ready, so. That was it. Now move on to battle number four. So yeah, what do you guys actually think about this, um, this new mythic, um, new legendary troop? Do you think it's good enough? Do you think it's useful? Um, what are your opinions so far on this troop? Let's cast our Thrall real quick. Um, our Carmina is not up yet, but we have a 4 plus gem match right there. Now we're going to entangle the first two enemies. 
There we go. Very nice. Now let's cast our Carmina. Big hit. Very, very good. Kill off one more. And let's see if we can get some more skulls. There we go. Cascading skulls helps us out really, really fast. So let's hop into mini boss fight. Let's see how this one works out for us. And yeah, if you if you have any opinions about this team or any other teams that I've posted, feel free to drop it in the comment section. I'll definitely respond and um, see what your opinions are. All right, let's match this five way gem match right there. Let's match those yellows off the board. Now let's cast our Vine Whip on the second enemy. Now let's cast our Carmina. Got a big hit. There is a delay though I've been noticing on Carmina's spell because of how it creates those um those skulls. It's pretty slow. What do you guys think about it? All right, let's hop into the mythic boss fight. Let's see how this one works out. Let's see if we can make it really, really fast this time around. So first off, our first assignment, get some mana to our thrall. Let's bring that down over there. Let's match that. And here we got some purple. Very good. Now let's see if we can cast our thrall. There we go. We got an extra turn. And we're actually enraged. So we're going to go ahead and kill that first enemy. Might as well. Our Carmina is not powered up yet, and we have Cascading Skulls here. Might as well take them. We have one left. Now let's cast this on the last enemy. Cast our Thrall once more. And now let's cast our Carmina. Let's see if we get a kill. And there we go. Very nice. That one was much faster than the others. Yeah, let's see what's inside this boss chest. Make it something good, please. Ah, an Arania. Might as well. So yeah, guys, that is the team that I've worked on. Um, yeah, I think that's, this one works out much better than the previous team. So the Vine Whip up front that entangles the first enemy and entangles any other enemy that you guys target down, I tend to target the second enemy just in case that first enemy dies so that second enemy can't hit us with those skulls that Carmina creates on the board. Our Thrall is in second place, destroying a huge amount of gems, as you can see, 56 gems, as a result of the campaign and any other bonuses that we have running right now. And um, Carmina right there, of course, her very unique spell. I think this is like the third third or fourth troop that's added to the game that can actually um, create Uber Doom Skulls. Am I correct? If you guys know um, of all the troops that are actually creating Uber Doom Skulls, drop it in the comment section. Let me know what you guys um, think of that. So it has triple threat, uh, create four skulls, four Doom Skulls, and four Uber Doom Skulls. And if an enemy's death mark, create one more of each skull. That's a pretty unique spell. And yeah, and of course, Flaming Oni, not Onirus, Flaming Oni in the final slot um, has Red Rage converting two Red Gems to Burning Gems when my turn begins. So yeah, guys, that is the team right there. If you guys have any opinions, any viewpoints about this team, definitely drop your... Um, your comments in the comment section and of course hit a like on the video if you do like this team or any other teams that i've um submitted before and of course if you are not subscribed yet definitely hit that subscribe button all right guys catch you next one peace